Good morning. It's Dr. Gary on the road with Healthcare Practice Sales LLC, where we are involved with the sale of dental practices. We are the brokers of dental practices for the sale of a practice from a senior doctor, for example, to a younger doctor. And we put that deal together. We're now in business 11 years. We have a website, www.dentalpracticeguide.com. Our phone number is 201-663-0935. 201-663-0935. Feel free to call us anytime. We always give free consultations. So we're here to help you. All the advice we give you is nothing more than an opinion. You should always seek the advice of an attorney. This is not legal advice, nor financial advice, nor business advice. Always seek the opinion of an attorney and or an accountant. Um, they can help you. So this is for entertainment purposes. So today's topic is, if you are a uh, large company that thinking about they're going to directly to a DSO, a private equity, to sell their company, uh, we believe we can help you because often they will pay our commission and sometimes we can get the legal fees paid for. We have that buffer zone and we won't charge anything for that. Uh, so please call us. Now, if you're going to be selling and you're going directly to a DSO to sell, you need the best attorneys that are well established and have been in the field for a long time. Not your corporate friend who knows about uh, practices, uh, sale of practices, but hasn't done a significant amount. A qualified dental attorney is doing at least, at least three a month, 20 to 30 a year, at least, often more than that. They know the business, they've been in it, they know who the players are, and they may very well know who the buyer is, the DSO, dental services buyer. So if you're gonna go that route, there are two larger uh, companies I've worked with in the past, Bill Barron, Mandelbaum Salzburg on the East Coast, and then Dykema over in Texas with Brian. These companies are well-established, well-established law firms. You'll be in good hands. Yes, it's going to be more expensive than your local attorney friend or your attorney that you meet that's involved with hospital mergers. It's completely different. Um, so you've got to be with a player. Once you have one of these attorneys, they're going to watch your back. Now, there's a chance that the attorney, be it Bill Barrett or Brian with Dykema, have worked on the opposite side of the tables of these DSOs before, and they know the people, they know how to negotiate, they know the attorneys, and they'll be able to accomplish a lot more. So if you're thinking about going the route, remember, we can be the broker, you as the buyer, if we work with the DSO, you as the buyer, it will, or seller, excuse me, um, generally we can work it so you do not have to pay a commission, and we can get your legal fees sometimes reimbursed. So please think about that, but use top law firms. Don't even, don't even think about using somebody else. It will be a nightmare. And not all, these deal, not all of these deals go through anyway. So you want the right representation to make sure you have the best shot at it. Now the DSOs are looking for, most of them are looking for practices doing 1.5 million and above. The doctor they want to stay on. And uh, if there's any associates, they want them on too. That's one of the key criteria. Generally, although they look at practices below a million dollars, generally, you're gonna find it's 1.5 million and above, and the, the main selling doctor is willing to stay, and if any associates there stay too, obviously they want the staff to stay uh, in addition. So those are just a few quick tips about selling to a dental services organization or a private equity company. Call us anytime if you want information, 201-663-0935. We thank you for listening. Please subscribe, and we'll look forward to another tape coming up soon.